Hello students. So let's try to solve one problem from CSIR NET 2022. And this exam was held in Sept in month of September. So this problem is from quantum mechanics. And uh, it is given that uh, one Hamiltonian is uh, there. That is A into identity matrix, B into sigma Y, and C into sigma Z. Where sigma X and sigma Y is X and Y component of poly spin matrix. And what we have to do? we have to find the value of y and this is just a, a one vector one by root two one y such that this vector will be the eigen vector of h operator for greatest eigen value so obviously what we have to do we have to first calculate the eigen value of this matrix and then we have to apply the eigen value eigen vector condition and then we can easily find the value of y so let's try to go for this so what is my H matrix? My H matrix is A, and this is 1, 0, 0, 1. This is 2 cross 2 identity matrix. B matrix is sigma X. So we all know that this is 0, 1, 1, 0. And C matrix is 0, minus I, I, 0. So this is our H matrix. And we when we will write this particular H matrix, then this H is equal to a, sorry, this value is A, B minus IC, and this is B plus IC, A. And so this is my Hamiltonian or in the matrix form. So now we have to calculate uh, the characteristic equation that 1 minus lambda I must be equal to 0. So we can write this particular thing as A minus lambda b minus ic this is b plus ic into a minus lambda this must be equal to zero so from here what we have we have a square minus sorry a minus lambda so i can use this space a minus lambda whole square minus when we will going to multiply this thing this thing is simply b square plus c square must be equal to zero so easily we can go for a square minus b square formula so we can write this thing as a minus lambda plus root under b square plus c square this is my first factor and second factor is again a minus lambda and minus root under b square plus c square must be equal to 0. So this is our value. And from here, we can get the value of lambda is equal to, from here, we can get value of lambda is equal to a or lambda 1 is equal to a plus root under b square plus c square. And lambda 2 is equal to a minus b square plus c square. Hence, a, b, c is given some positive constant. So this is our bigger or greatest eigenvalue. So this is our eigenvalue. And this vector must be eigenvector corresponds to this eigenvalue for this particular matrix. So we have to find the value of y. So let's try to calculate the value of y now. So we will just uh, remove all this thing. And now we have our Hamiltonian, that our Hamiltonian is basically A and uh, B minus IC, B plus I C A. This is our Hamiltonian. And if this is my Hamiltonian and my eigenvector is 1 by root 2, 1 y corresponds to this eigenvalue. So I can write this value is 1 by root 2, 1 y must be equal to A plus root under A square plus B square into 1 by root 2, 1 y. 
So we have to solve this equation actually. So when we will solve this equation, then first equation, this root two, and this root two is canceled. So we have a plus y time b minus ic must be equal to a plus root under a square plus b square. And if you want, you can go for second equation also. So the second equation is b plus ic and a plus y time a is equal to y time a plus y time root under a square plus b square. So we can take any equation and we can easily find the solution. We can easily find the value of y. So we can take uh, this particular equation. So this is, so here a and a is cancel. So what we can get, we can get the value and that value is equal to y is equal to root under a square plus b square by b minus ic. So according to our four options, we have to little bit adjust this. If you want, you can do this thing from here. You will get the same answer. So don't worry about this because this is all about the beauty of complex number. So what I can do, I can multiply it by B plus IC and multiply it by B plus IC. And this value is equal to, basically, I can use this space actually. So this value is equal to A square plus b square root under into b plus ic and here this value is equal to b square plus c square. So this complete information can be written as this thing can be we can write as b plus ic upon root under b square plus c square. So I think this is the value of y and this will be the correct option. So this is very simple problem. Only you have, you need to know little bit of complex number and poly spin matrices and how to solve two cross two matrix. So this is really one of the simplest question you can ever ask into the net examination. Thank you.